Welcome to Kebmaster Software. Today we're going to go through the new machine editing. Um, this is from build 91 onwards. So 11.1 build 91. So this is our cabinet. We can go to view and so this is all the same. It's been for years. So now when you come to here, make this bigger. So I want to edit this. So I just right click and go edit. It now automatically docks the window to the side. So you can see here, and it shows me this part in the editor. They've got this green selection. I can hold down the control button and multiple select these parts. I can now just go move, and you can specify the length, specify angle. You can do those sorts of things. You can still come in here and do, uh, say, rectangle. Now, one thing you may note, actually, I'll do this first, then I'll show you. This unlock button. When you first come in here, that's actually locked. When you actually make a move, it automatically unlocks the part. Or if you want to actually draw a rectangle first, you need to hit the unlock button first. Then from here, I can double click on this. It then changes to this machine step, so actually what I'm doing. So I can specify the dimensions of it. So the width, well, let's call it 200 mil wide, but it's only going to be 150 mil high. Um, where do you want it to be? It's always from this bottom left hand corner. It's a zero point, so um, oh, let's go. 500 by 300 just as round numbers uh, you can you know manually move it around as well if you like say I want it to be that big I want it to be in the middle so you can put it anywhere you like um, you can also grab an ellipse or a circle just drag it through here so you've got quite good editing parts you can actually add in you know, draw lines add in bores multi bores so a bore is a single hole a multi line a multi bore in line is multiple holes um, you can adjust things. You can also come into here and right click. I want to say a shape for the corner. And now pops up with this. So you can actually drag it around and you can see what it is. Or you can go over here and say, I want this to be 100mm across. And when you hit enter, it just does that. Uh, same thing now with fillet as well. If I go fillet corner, again, I can dr drag this around and manually do it by hand. Or I can actually go in here and type in my type in the radius or I can type in any of these lengths that I want. So if I put a radius in, so I want a radius of 150 mil, hit enter, that now puts 150 mil radius on that corner there. Now, once you've done editing your parts, the easiest way is now there's a button right here, return to page view. You push this, it puts everything back as it was before you came into the editor. So we're back to this exact same view we were in the beginning, cabinet behind me. And now we can see these parts. I can turn this off here. So the beauty is it takes, and you can see now it's all in there as well. The fact that it now takes you in and out with it at the push of a button makes it so much easier and quicker to get in and out of. So uh, thanks very much for listening.